Emergency locator transmitters, or ELTs, are the beacons designed for carriage aboard aircraft. These types of beacons produce the most false alerts of any beacon type within the COSPAS SARSAT system. One factor which may explain this is that pilot training and aircraft maintenance manuals for ELTs may be based on the older 121.5 MHz ELT models. These models transmitted an anonymous distress signal which could not be associated with a specific aircraft. Therefore, these models have historically been tested by turning them on briefly at designated times permitted by the air regulations. These brief test transmissions were ignored by SAR services if they were of limited duration and if they occurred during specified time periods. In contrast, 406 MHz ELTs include specific identifying information in the 406 message. These ELTs are detected within a few minutes by the COSPAS SARSAT system, and with the introduction of MEOSAR, can now be detected and located with a single transmission. This means that proper test procedures for these ELTs become increasingly important to prevent false distress alerts. Consequently, live tests such as turning on a beacon in non-distress situations are no longer permitted in many countries. Fortunately, most 406 MHz ELTs are provided with a specific self-test feature which verifies the health of the beacon and is designed to prevent false alerts. It is important to understand what this recommended self-test feature does to ensure compliance with local air regulations. Some transmit only the 406 MHz signal, others also transmit the 121.5 MHz homing signal. Please consult the owner's manual for your ELT and the national air regulations for any testing restrictions before undertaking any self-tests. If you realize that an unauthorized or unintentional live transmission has been made, contact the nearest Air Traffic Service Unit, Rescue Coordination Center, or COSPAS SARSAT Mission Control Center. COSPAS SARSAT. We save lives.